I'd like to talk about my tattoos in case any of you were curious about the ink on my arms. In my day-to-day -day life, many people are interested in complimenting my ink or they also like to compare their tattoos with mine. It's, they usually have some little small tattoo somewhere and they're like, oh, here's my tattoo. And I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> Go figure. Um, it's funny, my parents hate my tattoos. I guess they've sort of accepted it because I'm my own person and just because they think only sailors and people in prison get tattoos uh, that doesn't check off with reality as you may already know tattoos are in the mainstream now and so okay yeah this is my sleeve that I have been working on for the last four years and it is near completion praise Osiris it's basically an homage to the desert the uh, Sonoran desert to be more specific down here is a blue agave I'm a fan of tequila, although I haven't been much of a drinker these days. And down here, this is peyote. I've never done peyote, but I have an appreciation for psychedelics. Here's some other cactus, I'm not sure what they are. Here's a succulent on my elbow. The elbow sucks to be inked because it's right up, right up on the elbow bone. Uh, peanut cactuses. This is um, the state of California, the golden poppies, the Bay Area, where the star lies. Um, we've got a uh, barrel cactus and some more purple prickly pears and up here this is Sappho she was a Greek poet of classical antiquity she lived on the island of Lesbos where the word lesbian comes from and sitting next to her is a suwaro cactus they are spelled suguaro, but pronounced suguaro, if you're unfamiliar with cacti. And I love them. Every time I go out into the desert and I see these tall, statuesque cacti peering down at me. They are so beautiful. 